Good morning and welcome again to the Ark of Salvation in Atlanta, Georgia, home of Brothers of the Word. Before we get started, we ask that you would please silence your cell phones. And if you have a little one that might get fussy, we ask that you enjoy service through the double doors in viewing room 203. And to help us keep the main sanctuary clean, we ask that no food or drinks be brought into the main sanctuary. We will return to worship in just a moment, but let's take a look at what's happening at the Ark. We continue to be excited with a tremendously talented group of musical artists who join us each week. All of the artists are delighted to worship with us, but reserve the right to maintain a certain amount of professional privacy. They are not obligated in any way to share private contact information and should not be asked for their cell numbers or personal email addresses. They all maintain websites with contact options for the public. Thanks so much and prepare to be blessed later in the service by the artist of the morning. And we just finished a half marathon, 13.1 mile. This is Valerie who ran with me virtually the entire race. The thing about it, five weeks ago she had surgery and she just took off her cast yesterday. But she did not let that stop her. She finished and ran the entire 13.1 mile race. So what is your excuse? Why can't you do it? You can do whatever you make up your mind to do, regardless of what happens. This is Coach Bronner, and I'll see you tomorrow. If you are in need of a healing, bring your faith and meet us here tonight, Sunday, July 15th at 7 p.m. for God Heals. That's tonight at 7 p.m. And where there is no vision, the people will perish. The men of vision will meet tonight from 7.30 to 9 p.m. That's tonight from 7.30 to 9 p.m. The Ark is in need of drivers. Please see Brother Julian McDonald for details. Water baptism signifies death to an old life and the start of a brand new one. If you haven't yet followed the Lord in water baptism, now is your time. Sign up for the August 19th baptism simply by going to brothersoftheword.com and click on members and then the baptism form. All intercessors are asked to meet next Sunday, July 22nd at 1245 p.m. The ARC's mission trip to the Dream Center in Los Angeles, California is right around the corner on September 24th through the 28th. If you have signed up to serve, all payments must be received by August the 5th. And if you have signed up to serve and have a clean DMV printout, we are still looking for 10 drivers to drive passenger vans in Los Angeles. If you are interested, please complete the form in the Resource Center. Please continue to pray for those who are on our sick and shut-in list. And if you know of someone who may be sick or shut-in, please call 1-800-7-CHRIST or you may send their information to angelcare at brothersoftheword.com. Happy birthday goes out to all July babies celebrating a birthday this week. And happy anniversary goes out to all married couples celebrating an anniversary. And don't forget, you can visit us 24 hours a day online at brothersoftheword.com or on Twitter and Facebook, or you can visit us right here at The Ark for our weekly activities, which includes the weekday word, Thursdays from 7 to 8 p.m., Sunday school on Sundays at 10 a.m., prayer on Sundays at 10.25 a.m., the prayer hour Wednesdays and Saturdays at noon, and free fitness classes Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays from 6 to 7 p.m. And we would like to invite all of our first-time guests to join us in the Fellowship Hall immediately after service for a free smoothie and a gift bag worth $100. And the first 24 paid smoothies will receive a week's supply of vitamins and six red delicious apples for the week. 
Today's vitamin verse comes from James, the fifth chapter, verses 14 through 16, and it says, Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up, and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray for one another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That's James, the fifth chapter, verses 14 through 16. It's good to take your vitamins. Have a blessed week. Of you took from